Hey my glam girls, welcome back to my channel, it's Chelsea, and today I am excited, I'm excited. We have a pretty highly requested video today. We're gonna to be reviewing the new Gucci bronzer. I definitely wanted to ask you all your opinion on this because I had seen some mixed feedback on people's desire to see this bronzer, but a good amount of you all said that you wanted to see the bronzer, so I went on ahead and here we are. I'm very excited about this. So in this video, we're gonna be demonstrating the bronzer against my complexion, and then I will also be comparing it to some other pretty popular bronzers just so that you can get, get an idea as to what shade will work for you and how this shade and formula compares to others of my favorites. But before we get into this video, we gotta say thank you. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend some time with me. If this is your first time here, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe to my channel and join the Glam Girl Squad. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for deciding to come back and support my channel with all of your likes and your comments. It really does mean a lot to me. So let's get into this video. Gucci Poudre de Beauté. How bad did I butcher it? Okay, that's what we're gonna give you here. This is the bronzing powder. So this is what the outside of the packaging looks like. And this is actually my first Gucci product. So I am very excited here. I love this pink sleeve that it comes with or comes in. It's this beautiful velvet texture and I love anything pink. But what I love more about the pink packaging oof, is this Tiffany blue packaging of the bronzer. I love Tiffany Blue because I love Tiffany and Company. The jewelry company, very special place in my heart. So when I saw this, I was like, I, I want it. This is the inside packaging of the bronzer. I love the embossing of the bronzer. Very nice size mirror here. And then this flips up and then you've got a nice little sponge right here. I remember watching Vicky J. She said that she was watching Alicia Kinky Sweat and there's a little pinhole right here. You guys can see there you go. There's a little pinhole right here, which means you can take out this bronzer and add in a refill so you don't have to worry about purchasing the actual whole package again if you wanted to repurchase this particular shade. I picked up shade four out of the five shades that there were. This bronzer is available on Saks Fifth Avenue for pre-sale order. So if you are interested in the bronzer, you can pre-order it. So what is this? We have a bronzing powder designed to deliver a luminous looking finish and create a natural glow. Visibly unifying the complexion in one stroke. This soft and silky comfortable formula creates warm, healthy looking glow. This is made in Italy and we get 0.35 ounces of product. There's only two shades. There's the shade fair and then there's the shade dark. So there's only two of the five shades. If I do find this bronzer anywhere else, I will make sure to link the multiple links down below so that you can hopefully find your shade. I picked mine up from Sephora. I have no clue why Sephora is not even selling it anymore. I think that is the weirdest thing. It's going to, so this product I just saw is going to ship on July 26th if you do order it from Saks Fifth Avenue and it does retail for $62. So this particular bronzer does have a light scent, which I think it's really pretty. Um, it's really light, kind of floral. It's not overbearing at all though. So it's definitely not as scented as the Guerlain bronzer. Um, it's, not, it's not as scented as that but it is a light floral scent. I like it, but if you are sensitive to fragrances or you don't like fragrance within your makeup products, then this is definitely not gonna be a product that you're gonna to gravitate to. I wanna go in with my Wayne Goss Large Artist Brush, picking up some product here, and let us just apply to the face. Okay, so this is what the bronzer looks like on one side of my face. This is what this side of my face looks like without the bronzer. I do have a liquid highlighter right here, so that is not the bronzer, that is my liquid highlighter. Um, but 
as you can see this bronzer leaves a beautiful reddish hue to the skin i don't think it is overly red but it's definitely more red than neutral but i do think it's pretty now what i do want to do because i am quite curious i do want to add the charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless powder on this side of the face because i feel like this bronzer is it has a hint of red as well but i don't believe it is this red the so wiping it off the wayne goss brush going back in with this Charlotte Tilbury in the shade tan compared to Gucci bronzer in the shade 04. So right off the back, we do notice some major differences. If you don't, I do. <laughs> Color wise, I do think the Gucci bronzer is just a hair. I'm talking like a hair more red than the Charlotte Tilbury side. So I do see a little bit of red from the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, but it's not as red. It has a little more neutral, it's it's more of like a red neutral, if that makes sense. Whereas I feel like the Gucci bronzer is more red, more auburn than the Charlotte Tilbury side. Another thing is I can definitely see that the Gucci bronzer is more luminous than the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer because I put on the same highlight on both sides, but I feel like this side, like right in this area we're still seeing much more luminosity and i'm hoping you all can see that shift in uh luminous glow compared to the charlotte tilbury side we don't see it as prominent and i'm hoping like i said you guys can see that even looking at my face straight on i definitely see more of a luminous glow from this particular bronzer than I see from the Charlotte Tilbury side, which the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer is a matte bronzer. So I'm not shocked by that, but putting on the Gucci bronzer initially, I didn't realize how luminous it was until I put the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer on, which I, I think I'm okay with. I prefer a matte bronzer, um, but this bronzer is beautiful. And I feel like with this bronzer, it could be a twofer. Meaning that if I was going for a quick makeup look or I just wanted really luminous cheeks, which you guys know I love me a glow, I could really probably, and I haven't tried it yet, so I'm just probably, I could probably just add the Gucci bronzer, potentially without a highlight, maybe throw on a nice little blush and be out of my way. Because I, I know for a fact, I put my liquid highlighter right here. And so the fact that I'm seeing this luminosity right here is it's really nice in terms of the formula i do feel like the charlotte tilbury side built up a little quicker than the gucci side and i'm honestly attributing that to the creaminess of the formula of the gucci bronzer i think because it is a little bit more creamy and not a complete powder it's going it, it just took a little bit more to build up than it than the charlotte tilbury side did i like that the luminous glow is a luminous and not sparkly because if this had been sparkly or if I felt like the glow was more highlighty versus bronzer I wouldn't have liked it um, because that's not the bronzers that I typically go for but first impressions I like her she's cute okay so let's go and now swatch here's the gucci bronzer very creamy here is the charlotte tilbury bronzer in the shade tan and i think it's very apparent that the charlotte tilbury bronzer is more neutral versus the gucci bronzer is quite red um versus it being a neutral toned bronzer here is medium from charlotte tilbury definitely much lighter than the Gucci bronzer, and also very neutral. Then we have the Becca Sunlit Bronzer in the shade Empanema Sun. This is also a luminous bronzer that I think is really beautiful. Um, so this is Becca, this is Gucci. Here is the Kosas Bronzer, another luminous bronzer in the shade Deep. So the Kosas Bronzer in the shade Deep. And definitely deeper in shade than the gucci bronzer um, but this is also another reddish tone type of bronzer here is the marc jacobs bronzer in the shade tantastic um, 
almost not even comparable at all to the Gucci bronzer in terms of tone and finish. It's matte, much lighter as well than the Gucci bronzer. Then I have the Kevin Aquan, the Neo Nude bronzer. And I'm just gonna swatch from this area because when I typically use this particular bronzer, I'll concentrate my brush here to get more of that bronze color, just so you guys know. Right here is the Kevin Aquan Neo Nude bronzer. Um, so I do feel like this is definitely red it, or a similar tone of red than the Gucci bronzer, um, just a little more pigmented than the Gucci bronzer here. Last but not least, we have the Tom Ford bronzer right here. So here is the Tom Ford bronzer. It just looks even like a powder. Um, here's the Gucci one, so obviously no comparison at all. Yeah, here we go. Tom Ford, Gucci, Charlotte Tilbury in tan, Charlotte Tilbury in medium, Becca, Sunlit bronzer, Kosas bronzer in deep, this is the Marc Jacobs bronzer. And then this is the Kevin Aquan uh, Neo Nude bronzer. So here are all these bronzer comparisons. And if I had to take a look at what I have, I think most similar, the Neo Nude bronzer from Kevin Aquan, looking at them up close, they are more similar in tone than um, they look on camera because I'm looking on the camera and they don't look as similar. I think it's because the Kevin Aquan is a little bit deeper, but I think the Kevin Aquan is similar to this Gucci bronzer in tone, looking at them up close. Hey guys, that is it. I hope that you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. And hopefully if you were interested in this bronzer, you were able to figure out what shade might work best for you. I really hope that all of the shades do come back in stock soon so that if you are interested in getting this bronzer, you can get your hands on it. Now, if I had to decide which side of my face I like better, if I prefer the Charlotte Tilbury side versus the Gucci side, I love me a matte bronzer. That is usually what I prefer. But I also really like the Luminous Glow from the Gucci bronzer. Now, I will say this though. I will say this. Right now, I have some texture on this side of my cheek and I do feel like this texture is emphasized because of the luminosity of the Gucci bronzer versus this side of my face. I also have a little bit of texture more on this side than this side, but I also know that anything matte is not going to overemphasize any texture that is on the face. So I would say I like the Charlotte Tilbury side a smidge more, just a smidge more, because I do like more of a matte bronzer, but this Gucci side is gorgeous. It really is. And I know I will reach for this bronzer. So those are my initial thoughts. Now, I they could change. Don't hold me to it because I could keep using this. And if I keep reaching for this, then that will tell us something. As of right now, Charlotte Tilbury, she has not been replaced. I have been using her consistently since I've got her. So, I mean, Gucci got some competition. So we will see who I keep reaching for. And then I'll give you my updated thoughts a little later on after I've used it. So I hope that you found this video helpful. Leave me a comment down below letting me know how you like the bronzers. Which side do you like better? Do you like more of the matte side with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer? Or do you really like this Gucci bronzer with this luminous glow? I'd love to hear your thoughts. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I really hope to see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.